and next type of synthetic fiber that we are going to look is nylon okay nylon was the first non cellulosic polymer so it is a non cellulosic polymer or we call it a synthetic fiber okay so where it where it was developed it was developed by the dupont company in the usa and first manufactured in the year 1939 so in which company it was developed it was developed in the du dupont company in the usa okay so in the year 1939 so it was made entirely from chemicals and used no plant or animal raw materials so it is entirely from chemicals and no uh product i mean no, no nothing is obtained from plant or animal raw materials okay so what are the properties of nylon it will be very strong it is very light in weight and elastic it is very easy to wash and does not wrinkle okay and uh, it dries very quickly okay it doesn't absorb much of water it dries out very quickly and what are the uses of nylon nylon has many uses some of which are given below here you can see it is used in making swimwear okay nylon clothes so in gym suits and all you can see it is made up of nylon only swimwear rain coats umbrella hats because it doesn't it can dry out very quickly right so these things are made out umbrellas hats and leggings okay so it is used in making curtains carpets ropes and also used in packing materials and also it is used in toothbrushes bath sponges also okay it is used in making tents fishing nets parachutes and also tires here you can see in the picture items made from the nylon okay rain coat umbrella toothbrush what do you see that is also made up of this nylon material so next synthetic fiber that we are going to look is polyester so polyester is also called as a synthetic fiber okay polyester as the name suggest it is a polymer of ester so polymer together with ester called as polyester so there are different varieties of polyester for example terylin and pet that is polythin tetra sorry uh, polythin terapthalate okay terapthalate terylin uh, fiber is used to make fabric so it is used to make fabric and it is often mixed with other types of fibers to make different varieties of fabrics okay so adanna bere on fibers jatanu mix maartare to get a different varieties of fabrics so what are the properties of polyester it will be very strong so easily it can be stretchable and it is very uh, durable also and it doesn't shrink easily and it resists wrinkles so you don't see any wrinkles in polyester and it is very easy to wash and it will dry very fast okay so uses of polyester where we use polyester polyester is widely used as a dress material so you must have uh, seen people wearing sarees shirts and dresses made up of polyester and polyester is popularly combined with natural natural fibers and uh, and also man made fibers to make wrinkle free, free fabrics for example polycot it is a mixture of polyester and cotton and similarly poly wool so it is a uh, combination of polyester and wool okay polyester is also used for pillow stuffing okay and pet is commonly used for making bottles and storage containers so you have seen this right polyester duster in everybody's home it will be okay so this is the use of polyester next we shall be looking into acrylic so the last one type of um, synthetic fiber acrylic fibers are synthetic fibers which is made from the polymer that is polyacryl acrylo nitrile okay the properties of acrylic fibers are similar to do, those of wool so wool is a natural fiber right so it is very soft lightweight and also warm so it is therefore used as an alternative to wool so it is just similar to wool so in the place of wool we use this acrylic acrylic sweaters socks and blankets are widely used by the people so it because it is very cheap compared to wool and it will be very resistant to weather also okay so this is about acrylic so totally we studied uh types of synthetic fibers that is rayon nylon polyester and acrylics so in the next video i'll be teaching about advantages and 
disadvantages of synthetic fibers.